The phloem is the connecting system between the supplying cells of the leaf and receiving cells of the roof. The whole system of a leaf cells, the phloem, root cells and xylem are considered to function as one unit since plasmodus matter are supposed to permit mass movement. Since the leaf cell can have a continuous supply of sugars due to photosynthesis, and as the receiving cells of root utilize the organic solutes or store them, there is always a continuous mass flow from the leaf cells to the root cells. The sugars produced by the cells of mesophyll pass into the sieve tubes through the plasmodesmata. The pressure exerted by the mesophyll cells causes movement of the solute through the cytoplasmic standards of the sieve tube into the protoplasm of receiving cells. The water component of the downwards moving solution is exuded into the xylem from the receiving cells. Thus, there is return flow of water from receiving cells of the leaf cells through the xylem. Hence, the turgor pressure of the receiving organ is always kept low as organic solutes are utilized and the cells of the leaf have always greater turgor pressure as photosynthesis takes place. Incision of phloem shows exudates coming under pressure which are rich in carbohydrates, proteins, etc. Thus, pressure flow is mainly governed by the sugar solute produced in the mesophyll cells of leaves. The phloem stream is essentially a mass flow of sugar solutes and water. Objections Considering the amount of food material stored in the underground tuberous organs, the rate of transport in sieve tubes is not sufficient to account for entire food transport. Sieve tubes are not continuous without resistance as a plasma does matter and the sieve plates offer sufficient resistance. It is doubtful whether the flow over distances can be governed only by turgor pressure differences. Mass flow hypotheses explain only unidirectional flow of solutes in downward direction. But these can be simultaneous upward as well as downward translocation in the sieve tubes. This hypothesis supposes that supplying cells are more turgid than receiving cells. But in several cases, the receiving cells are more turgid 